Hi, I'm Jennifer Kent and I'm the director of The Babadook. And I'm actually here in New York City for the 10 year re-release of that film, which blows me away. What also blows me away is being in this amazing little house of art and um, just having the great privilege to be able to look through these films and choose some for myself. Okay. <laughs> Have you seen this crazy film? This was actually Hexen, uh, Witchcraft Through the Ages, is a huge inspiration for Babadook. It's about the devil and about witchcraft. It's also about women going nuts. Um, fantastic, so I'm gonna have to take that with me. Okay, love this one, Australian from Peter Weir, it's The Last Wave. I didn't see it for a long time because I embarrassed to say I thought it was a film about surfing. <laughs> it's not a film about surfing. It's a film about the end of the world, perhaps. And uh, it's one of his most sort of mystical and spiritual films. An amazing performance by uh, David Gopalil. Love it. Okay, this is an amazing film, Corinne Echo. Actually, I saw somewhere here Kanita Shindo's other film, Onibaba. It's very well known, but Corinne Echo is maybe lesser known and it's the most haunting sort of spine chilling uh, ghost story. I really can't explain it, but I think if you haven't seen it, you need to go and watch that. So I'll take both those. Oh, uh, Mulholland Drive. I mean, David Lynch is really up there with one of my absolute favorites. I've seen this film about, I don't know, 10 times. The first time I saw it, I was, I didn't really understand it. It made me really angry. And I thought I've wasted my time watching this stupid film about nothing, which, is embarrassing to say, but as I, the second time I watched it, I sort of fell asleep midway through and woke up and then I started to understand it. The third time I watched it, I really felt a sense of what it was about. And then the fourth time I saw it while I was in LA and I thought, this is a documentary on LA. <laughs> I only discovered Robert Bresson uh, recently. This is A Man Escaped. What a genius. I mean, he really invented a new form of cinema one interesting thing about this is all that I learned on Criterion is that all of the sound was post-sunk, everything. Sound effects, dialogue, and I didn't even realize, but what it gives you is this kind of incredibly real, but also slightly surreal uh, world. Just a stunningly beautiful and tense film. Tokyo Story, absolutely beautiful, Ozu. I watched this sort of around the time my mum passed away and it's a really affecting and subtle and sad film about not appreciating your parents. I, I can't recommend that enough. So I feel like I've got a lot here to take home with me. And I'm just, again, so thrilled to be in this beautiful space with all these filmmakers that have gone before me. It's so special.